Hello there everybody, it's Verity from incubusfly.wordpress.com Thank you for joining me again today And it's another festive Friday, these Fridays come round really quick Alarmingly, somebody told me in the office last week That there's like 12 Fridays between now and Christmas Which just blew my mind Anyhow <laughs> This is the card we're making today or a little little tweak on the design. I wasn't really happy with how the uh, how low down this was on the centre portion, so we're just going to adjust the layout slightly. But but generally speaking, this is what we're making, and this features uh, a lot of things from the poinsettia petals bundle or suite rather. So we've got the stamp set and the coordinating dies. Um, so I've taken the the sentiment from the stamp set, that's all I've taken, and then there's a die in here that die cuts one of the poinsettias from uh, one of the coordinating DSP sheets which I've got positioned there. So it won't cut out all of these, so it will end up with a piece of paper with a couple of holes in but there'll be portions that I can use for, for other things and for maybe smaller card fronts so, so that's the portion I'm using I'm just going to bring in the the pack the colours within the pack are Bumblebee, Garden Green, Old Olive, Real Red Soft Suede and Whisper White 12 by 12 double sided um, so we've got this paper very similar in design to the one I'm using really nice soft uh, colour palette and we have some pine cones that's the paper I'm using and on the reverse of that is the lovely leaves which I'm actually using as my card front so the same DSP is being used for both uh, elements on the card then we've got the, the lovely berries uh, with a, and then a wood grain uh, a really nice sort of muted and vintage style poinsettia there something a little bit more neutral and less flowery so you know guy cards the wood grain would be good for guy cards as well uh, this one you could get away with the guys on little like um what are those called pine branches more pine cones and something a little bit more uh, ornate but still quite neutral and then we have some holly okay so those are the sheets you get two of each so I showed you both sides of each paper and you you get um, two of each of those designs okay and then the other thing to show you in this suite is this stuff okay well, let's get the reflection off Oh, ooh. look at that. There are three designs in this pack, and it is 12 by 12. I've cut this bit down. Okay, can you, can you hear how thick it is? So it is vellum, but over the top, it, it's actually um, flocked, it's raised and soft. It's amazing, <laughs> really, really cool. So that's the design I've used today. You also get one with more of the poinsettia designs. And then the last one is a really nice swirly dirly one. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? You can ink over the top of it, it will take ink um, as well. Some, some people do that. Um, so, so two of each of three designs, but it is really thick um, vellum in there, and it's just the texture is just amazing. So yeah, how how amazing is that? So I think um, what we'll do is we'll get this die cut on the um, cut and emboss machine. Um, so if you haven't heard the news, we have a new die cut machine it is in the catalogue in fact I'm going to bring in the catalogue picture actually because the machine itself is really quite large 
uh, in terms of I can't get under the camera um, um, so it might be easier for me to just show you quickly in the C catalogue if she can find it quickly and of course I just decided to try and flip through and I'm not going to be able to find it am I and then oh, there we go. Right. okay so this is the machine and what it looks like it's a really lovely sleek white machine it's beautiful the uh, the sides fold in um, nice and easily if you want to the handle just go it's just very smooth to it's got a nice grip on it and we've got the um, the uh, branding on the side there really really great and there's a bit of wriggle room on the uh, mouth of the opening as well so if, if your paper's slightly overhanging you aren't gonna mess it up the box comes with all the plates that you need to get started which is I can show you those in real life a base platform you will use that with every time you use your machine and there are instructions written on there in case you happen to forget one of your sandwiches so that goes on there your number two plate is for your thin die adapter basically so you use this with your thin metal dies without exception and then you get two number threes which are your cutting plates so see how much I've used that already can't you so these are your number threes um, which are your, your cutting plates so you would sandwich your um, your project between those two to cut them okay if we are using a uh, regular embossing folder we take out number two and just use number one and two number threes if we're using a 3d embossing folder we uh, take out the thin die adapter and we just use the grey number four plate that's for our 3D embossing. Okay, so that's what you get in your box. Everything you need to get going. Okay. Um, now you may notice on that page there is a smaller size machine that's not available just yet, but it's coming soon. Also have a magnetic platform for this too, which is a very exciting. Uh, the other thing, so the speciality plate for number four, the impression mats aren't yet available, but the magnetic plate is, uh, and that's a number five plate apparently. A fully magnetic sheet with self healing cutting surface. So it's a full magnet. So a lot of the other machines just have magnets in certain points, and which is why the dies jumped. This is a full sheet of magnet magnetic material to hold your dies in place really super duper available to customers now even better we've got a great joining offer at the moment stick it in your starter kit um, added a few other bits and pieces and you also get two free stamp sets and a card making kit to use with those stamp sets Boston offer I can't recommend joining stamping up enough really just look at it. So just creating my one two three sandwich in my die cut machine and rolling that through. It's got nice sturdy feet um, keeps it still on your uh, desk. So that's die cut out of there beautifully do get a bit of an edge or it has moved just slightly but uh, for demonstration purposes that will do that will do let's move that to one side out of the way okay okay 
fantastic. Right, I know this is going to go on dimensionals, so we'll get those on there ready to go. What I've already done ahead of time, so you're not watching me cut loads of things, is um, I've got a garden green card base. Uh, this is the rest of that card, that same designer series paper, which we are going to put on our card front. Uh, this is a use my um, what do I call it? My card layer size, which means it is four inches wide by five and three quarters long. But you make it fit whatever size card base you prefer to make. I always do mine with a half sheet of A4, which works out to four and one eighth of an inch scored at five and seven eighths of an inch I just like that and I like the tenfold design if you cut and score the opposite way around you'll get a side fold card so that looks that looks pretty stunning just as it is I'm going to um, the temptation was to put this straight on but you just don't get the, the the pattern coming through so I decided it needed the dark cardstock behind it just to lift that white out from um, behind uh, from that DSP behind so I'm just going to use some oh, some wet glue not as much as that though and uh, I don't know whether you can see from up there but I'm trying to dab the glue onto the spaces where the uh, flock is. Um, because it will show through on the vellum, on the front side of the vellum. Okay. So I just want to dot that around in places where it's not going to be seen as clearly. Okay. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but uh, it will be good enough. Oh, I think I've got away with that one. Oh, there's a bit down there, but I think the flower will kind of cover that up. Okay, that's not, not come out too badly in terms of the, um, uh, the uh, glue being visible. Okay, I'm just going to give that a second to just to just to dry. We've already got our little um, card. I'm going to bring in some of this real red sheer ribbon. I'm going to just cut a strip of that. Um, I should have put that around the paper first. Okay, quick deviation. It's all right. We'll put it around the um, the square instead. It might actually, it might look better. So the square is about three inches, so I'm going to use about four inches to tack that round the front and I'm going to cut off another seven or eight inches to tie my knot. Really nice, isn't it? Look at that nice sheer real red ribbon. Really, really, really lovely. I think that's in one of the other... Um, sweets so um, I didn't like the way the um, everything sat a bit too low on the card shall we say so I'm just going to dry build this quickly and just be sure I'm happy with where it's going to go my sentiment has just gone walk about where, where's that gone oh there it is I put it in somewhere safe yeah so that's going to look a lot better and you'll see the ribbon more okay wicked so I'm really I'm, I'm happy with that as a layout okay having things uh, a little bit more central so that's just below center so that can be okay so use my uh, Oh, 
what's up with this glue roller today? All day it's just been a bit on the sticky side. So we're aiming somewhere in the middle-ish on there. You can use your grid paper to make sure it's straight if you want or you can just eyeball it like I am. That looks okay. And that's going to be put onto the card with the dimensionals. like dimension and if you've watched any of my videos before you will know how much I really love dimensionals I'm gonna have it that way up because I quite like that holly leaf um, okay looking to have that equidistant on the sides most definitely and just slightly above center um, like so position our flower Next, don't want it hanging over the edge of the card, or at least not by much anyway, if it just peaks, that's okay, but I like it just peeking over the edge of this square, I think it looks much more natural when you've got things peeking out from other areas. So this poinsettia is raised, and I want to raise my sentiment, okay, so um, I need to put extra dimensionals on this end of the um, of the sentiment. So I'm just going to take a little bit off the end of that to do that. And she's just forgotten the banner banner end. Okie dokie. Let's get that into place. Like so, again, overhanging slightly, then both on the flower, on the ribbon and the frame, just gives it a bit of extra interest. I don't know whether I need this other piece of ribbon, you know. Where are you going to put it? Hmm. I don't know, it looks a bit odd, but this is too short for a bow as well. Oh, might get away with it. Shall we see? Ooh. Bit like ribbon, ribbon chicken. Can I? Can I get a bow out of that? It's going to look sensible. So, I'd like that to not be quite so twisted. Oops, that may, may be too much to ask. Do we need the bow or not? Oh, the decisions of card makers. Oh, I think it looks quite cute actually. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that then. Uh, in which case, I need a glue dot. The best thing for bows ever. So I really like that sentiment as well. It's really nice. And it's actually say Christmas necessarily. Um, so. Again, if you've got friends who don't actually celebrate Christmas, that is still something you could send them. Just as a winter, winter holiday time card. And now, I did put some pearls on the other one, mainly to cover some glue boo boos. Um, however, I do think. That there's possibly room for these and I might even shall we colour them in? Shall we make them red? Just to tie in with the rest of the 
project. And I think we'll do it, guys. So this is a stamp and blend marker. It's an alcohol-based marker, which means it will dry on non-porous non surfaces, such as embellishments. It dries quite quickly. Um, so I should grab my pick tool. Take your pick was a game show, wasn't it? Was that the game show where you um, where you, you open the boxes? I want to say it was Des O'Connor. Was it Des O'Connor? It was like a resurrection of a, a show from when. Uh, Back in the day, I think. I don't know why that popped into my head. I just just thought of it. Okay, I think I'm done. Now I think that layout looks better than that layout, but I'll leave it up to you to to decide which you prefer. Uh, I, I don't think dislike either of them. I just think this one's better, and I think those red pearls actually do set it off quite nicely as well. So there we go. Nice. Um, more simple card making it's all about um, getting things done and uh, as quickly as possible when it comes to your Christmas cards you want to make um, several so I thought that was not too um, difficult to uh, recreate thanks ever so much for joining me today um, all the um, products that I've used today are going to be listed in the blog post it's all in the description just check it out um, below uh, this is my blog address down here um, do check that out as well if you've liked this video please give me some thumbs up let YouTube know that you like these kind of videos uh, and that uh, and I'll produce more um, thank you so much stay safe take care and I'll see you next time bye bye